In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the print sheet templates for sports photo automation. These templates allow you to easily create picture packages such as this using sports photo automation and you use these just like you would any other template. The template set comes with a variety of different templates for different image arrangements. And there's just a few things you need to know about these. Um, they run just like any other template, but there is a few things that you may not be aware of. So make sure to watch this whole video and I'll show you everything you need to know for this. So the first thing is, is you can run these in batch or you can run these to build one at a time. If you want to build picture packages one at a time, you would first open the template that you want. And then if you go into the um, setup PST template button, you can actually use this to um, build your picture package one at a time. So if you use the add custom player image button and just select non cut out, I'm assuming that's what you'd be using for this. And then select the image you want and then it puts the image into the design. And you see that that image is repeated for all of the images. So this is pretty basic how it works. This just works on a duplicated smart object. So if you look in the layer panel, the SPA player one layer, you don't actually see that in the final results. So if I hide the, um, the prints folder, you see that we don't, under the prints folder, we've got all of your images but none of those are the SPA setup layers. So under this folder that says do not hide or delete, this is where your um, sports photo automation setup is. And then this smart object is duplicated up into the prints section. And so it duplicates that image four different times. Now with this folder, as it says, don't delete it, don't hide it, just leave it in place because you won't see it because it's behind the um, background color anyway. You'll also see that this is rotated. Now leave this rotated, don't try to straighten that out. That is rotated for a very specific purpose. And the reason is because when you batch process in newer versions of sports photo automation, there is a checkbox that allows you to use smart objects or not use smart objects. And by default, that is turned off because Photoshop will run faster with that off. But if that's not checked on, what happens is it does not put the image into the smart object. What it will do is put an image into the same location, but it will delete the smart object and just put an, an image in as a regular layer. That's if this is off. So in that case, it wouldn't duplicate those images into these, into the, um, the prints folder here, if it's not using a smart object. And so by rotating this image, what that does is it forces sports photo automation to use smart objects. So even if this is unchecked, if this is rotated, it will always use smart objects because it has to if it's rotated. It's only allowed to not use that if the image is straight and has not been rotated. So I rotated those purposely because I know a lot of people won't watch the video. And this way you don't have to check this button on and it's always going to work in batch regardless. So anyway, just leave that rotated. Don't worry about it because you're not going to see it anyway. Okay, the next thing um, to discuss here is you've got this layers called cut guides. Now, what that's turned off by default, but what that is, is these lines in between your images is to show you where to cut. Now, if you can change the color of that, and for instance, if you wanted that white, you could set it to white and then you can resave that template so that way when you batch you'll have those cut lines. By default those are set to 50% gray which I like because 
they're visible enough to see that way, but usually when you cut, you won't see those after you've cut the edges. Whereas if they were white and you cut, you might see those. Or you can just leave those off if you don't want those at all. And by default, um, they are off. Another thing too is under the um, folder, you're gonna have two folders, one that says for landscape images and one that says for portrait images. And you'll have different sheets in each. And that's referring to the orientation of the image that's going into it. So for example, um, the images, if you're putting in images, most of, of the time they're gonna be portrait images like this. So you'll always use the one under the um, portraits folder. Oh, another thing I'll point out too is you don't see, um, on some of these, you won't see the sizes listed. Um, if you click this folder here that says sizes hide for batch, this will show the sizes for each of the cutouts on the ones where it doesn't um, show when you open it. Because on some of these, if the images are all the same exact size, I put those into the smart object itself, that size, but the ones where the image size is different for each one. I couldn't put those in the smart object because that would repeat what it says even though they're different. So I had to put those outside the smart object. So I had to leave those hidden so it's not showing during the batch. All right, now that I got kind of sidetracked there, we were discussing landscape versus portrait images. So it, even if you're opening, um, if you open this here and it, this layout itself is vertical as we see here, but it says landscape. If you try to put in your um, your images into one of the landscape templates, but it's a portrait image, you see those get cropped because it's treating these images as landscape. So what you would need to do is um, get that eight by 10 sheet, um, Let's get the same sheet here. So the one that says for portrait with four by fives, that one's going to um, work for this. So if I hit add custom player image, okay, you see the sheets are set up identically, but the one that says for landscape images crops it because we're giving it portrait images. Now, if you had landscape images, then you would use these um, templates that are for landscape. <clears throat> but for the most part, I think most of the images are you're gonna give it our portrait. So those, those are the ones you want to use. The last thing is <clears throat> you will see that some of these templates here, they're all named by what they do. But on some of them, you'll see, like we have these two that are the same thing that do eight by 10 sheet with um, the same arrangement, but one will say four by five, three by four, or five by seven original aspect ratio. And one will say two by three or five by seven original aspect ratio. And I've got both of these templates open here. So let me undo that. And again, if you want to see the sizes, you can show that layer here, but just make sure you hide that before you run it. But you can see that these are identical. So I'm going to add the image, the same image to, image to both of these here. And I'll show you why there's two different um, templates. So the image that I gave it was a four by five aspect ratio image. Um, so the, I'd wanna use the template that says it's four, four by five originals. If you use the, um, let's get these the same size here. And if you use the, the other one, it's very subtle, but if I click back and forth, you'll see 
I used the wrong one. These three images here get zoomed in a little bit more. And the reason why, I don't want to get too much into detail with this, but the smart objects are different aspect ratios for these different image sizes here. And what it has to do is it does some masking in order to achieve these different aspect ratios. And depending on the aspect ratio of images that you're giving it, it will need to apply that masking differently. Like you see these two different templates here. Um, this one's got masking here, but on the other template, the other three have masking applied to those. So it has to change how it does that based on the aspect ratio of the images you're giving it. I mean, if you choose the wrong one, it's a subtle effect, a subtle difference, but the whole goal is to crop as little as possible because it's going to have to crop your images to fit the old aspect ratio into the um, size. So if, like, if you're giving it four by five aspect ratio images, which is what eight by 10 images are, but you're feeding it into wallets. Wallets are actually a five by seven aspect ratio, not four by five. So it gets the sides cropped a little bit. I'm probably making this sound too confusing, but in any case, just read what it says in the file. And if you're giving it four by five images, always use the one that says it's four four by five original images and you'll be fine. I'm just going to demonstrate a batch now. And these batch, just like any other templates do, so you would just select the template that you want. And again, I'm going to give it four by five images. So I want to make sure I use the one that says it's four four by five originals. And then everything else is the same. Just select the save folder, which I've already done, and the uh, player folder, which I've already done, and just, just hit run, and it's going to batch all of these. So now if I go to the save folder, you can see that it built our um, composites with our print sheets. Anyway, these are very, very simple to use. I um, hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.